Blackpink's Jisoo, the global ambassador Dyson, recently made a glamorous appearance at the site of Dyson's supersonic neural hair dryer product presentation in Songdong-gu, Seoul. Jisoo, known for her stunning beauty and impeccable style, visited to explore the innovative features of the new hair dryer and also filmed a related video. It seems that the photo shared on her Instagram this appears to be a behind-the-scenes look at her visit to the event. She looks like a goddess, incredibly beautiful, and she slays in the photos taken from various angles. Chief Engineer James Dyson, founder of global technology company Dyson, made his first visit to Korea in four years and six months to announce the launch of the groundbreaking supersonic neural hairdryer. With Jisoo, this new hairdryer utilizes advanced sensor technology called the Neural Sensor Network, which measures the distance from the head and automatically adjusts the heat to provide a scalp protection mode as it approaches the hair. The supersonic neural hair dryer is released in two colors, ceramic patina, topaz and vinca blue, topaz, and can be purchased from Dyson's official website, demo store, and department stores starting today, with price 599,000 won. The event attracted a large number of domestic and foreign reporters and officials, drawing significant attention from the media and beauty enthusiasts alike. Fans can now experience the cutting-edge technology of Dyson's supersonic neural hair dryer, which offers an innovative solution for efficient and protective hair drying, as recommended by Jisoo. In other news, today on March 19, it was announced that Blackpink's Jenny will not be appearing on the upcoming JTBC show My Name is Gabrielle, a JTBC official confirmed to Exports News that Jenny's appearance has been cancelled. My Name is Gabrielle is a new program presented by producer Kim Tae-ho, featuring cast members experiencing the lives of others abroad. The show cast members include Park Myung-soo, Hong Jin-kyong, Yom Hai-ran, Ji Chang-wook and Park Bo-gum. Jenny's agency Odd Atelier also confirmed the news, stating that they received an offer for her to appear on the show but declined it. The reason cited was Jenny's focus on working on her upcoming album. Her representative told Osun that Jenny is currently immersed in the album preparation process and has decided to prioritize her music activities at this time. Meanwhile, this morning, Lisa spotted in Incheon Airport heading to Thailand for continuous filming scenes for The White Lotus Season 3, and celebrating her upcoming birthday in March 27, and conducting business in Japan before returning to Thailand for a fan meeting with True Money on April 6. Fans warmly welcomed her at the airport, and she also receiving her early birthday gifts from fans. She wore a Zara coat, Nike Air Alpha Force sneakers, and carried a Louis Vuitton Go 14 GM Malatage leather bag and a Louis Vuitton Speedy P9 Bandolier 40. The speculation about Lisa joining as a Louis Vuitton ambassador is increasing, especially considering her frequent use of the brand. We hope to hear good news about Lisa's collaboration with Louis Vuitton soon. What do you think? <laughs>